Hello, dear ones, it's Hannah. So I was going through uh, some of the sessions that I did and picking out snippets to share with you, and this seemed like the perfect thing to share on the heels of last week because it's also about this idea of being a bridge instead of bulldozing people when you are awake and they aren't. So I hope you enjoy it. So what is the best thing to do regarding being awake when others aren't? So, um, and do I- Honor their path. Honor their path, yeah. Just mm -hmm. honor their path. Okay, anything else around that um, to share? That she's on the right track regarding not wanting to be like a bull or mm -hmm. a bully in terms of pushing an agenda on anyone yeah, that so when people are curious <laughs> they will come to her and the best thing she can do is to be her open honest and authentic self and if they deny it that's okay that's about them it's not about her and if they accept it then that's also okay it's not about her it's about them Mm -hmm. And um, but just to be willing to be that light because as you know, as you both know, going forward, this will you will be called on for this purpose um, I increasingly, and it takes um, kind, open-hearted, trusted individuals to be able to. Um, be a bridge, if you will, for people that are beginning to seek and the places that they will be going as a result of that seeking. And so you're, you're providing a safety or a safe, albeit perhaps quiet, um, bridge or step in the right direction for them as each mm -hmm. chooses. Yeah. So as a bridge, it's not about yelling and saying, come over me. And it's about. Right. Yeah. There yeah. are people who are doing that and do feel called to do that. And they do have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you also can honor them in doing what they feel called to do. But when they also mention feeling depleted or overlooked or chastised, um, you know, that's part of the learning process for them. It doesn't have to be your path unless you choose that. That is not what Hannah is wishing. So okay. we would advise against it for her. But just follow what does feel right and resonant and be willing to be her true authentic self and, and not um, squelch or downplay who that is or change it based on her audience in order to attempt to fit in or be accepted or avoid um, discourse. Mm, thank you. She doesn't have to engage in discourse if someone tries, but it doesn't mean she should not be honest about who she is and what her feelings and beliefs are. I think for a lot of people, who are awake in this time, many of us feel like there are a lot of others around us who are not, and we just want to help. And sometimes it feels like you want to shake people and help them see because they're just not seeing what's going on or the deeper truths or the, the truth of who they are and this light inside of them they're getting caught in the in the small stories and the lower vibrational feelings of whatever is going on right now and it feels like they're feeding that cycle so i appreciated the reminder in this that they will come in just the right time for them whatever they're experiencing right now is just the right experience for them and when they're ready, they'll know that we are safe people to come and talk to if they have questions or want to learn and know more. 
and that just being loving and planting small seeds if you feel the desire and have that window to do so can go a long way they will start to germinate and and people will know like oh I remember they said something about this maybe I could ask them more when they're ready so my name is Hannah Fogg. I am a quantum healer here in the state of Maine in the United States, and I get to help people all over the world through the wonders of the internet. So I'm going to leave my website below, and if you have any interest in reaching out to have a session for yourself or to learn more, please do so anytime. I would love to talk to you. All right, take care. Bye.